If you have a leaking valve cover, stay with us, we'll show you how to fix that today. Welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having guys a Porsche Cayenne, if you have a Porsche Cayenne and you need to remove or replace the passenger side uh, valve cover gasket, stay with us, we will explain how to do that, we made a video for the driver side as well guys, two separate videos because it's very long, very detailed video and uh, you can find it on our channel, I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below as well, but we'll, we will explain guys how to remove and how to replace valve cover gasket on passenger side or facing the vehicle it will be on your front left side before we start let me tell you if you need to buy any parts tools valve cover gaskets anything like that we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing every single car we get at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So let's explain what we have here now guys. Okay the only two things that we have removed is the intake manifold okay and uh, the uh, uh, the box for the air filter the air filter box. So intake manifold is right here okay and let me just move that one not to break the sensors. This is the intake manifold you have the plastic pins that you need to turn to a certain position just pull them out disconnect the wiring harness Disconnect those as well, it comes out pretty simple. Air filter box just come out with one. Uh, after that, you open the air filter box, remove the air filter. You have one board with 10 millimeter socket and you can get the whole box out. So, with all that being said, we uh, did quite a bit of work to that vehicle. We just put new phone differential, that's a weak spot. New engine mounts, weak spot as well. New alternator. Well, actually, uh, we're in the process of putting a new alternator. Um, that's why we have the hose still open but you can see the valve cover how bad it's leaking guys okay so let's go ahead and show you how to fix that now so with all that being said guys next you need to pre-loosen these two bolts for the uh, upper engine mount okay right here um, and uh, the two that we use that triple square okay we'll share the link in the description of the video below with pre-loosen everything not to waste your time go ahead do that remove that bolt all the way if you do not pre-loosen this one, you cannot get it loose. Okay, after that, get it out and you can see how it can move. Okay, and we're going to install the bolt here so we don't lose it. Perfect. Next, guys, step. We will need to remove the air filter pump. You have one hose here that you just pull it out. Three bolts that you need to get loose. And one connector that you need to remove as well. We can like put it together quick so uh, we can actually guys okay uh, show you how to do that because we even put a new engine starter on that thing and uh, disconnect your wiring harness okay there's just one connector it goes okay right here you can see perfect next step guys you can see that cover for the uh, right here for the um, ignition coils and the spark plugs will need to come out you have four screws with reverse torque socket that we need to uh, you need to remove so let's go ahead do that we remove the other three so we don't waste your time we're going to go ahead do that okay perfect and now you can pull that thing out up first it goes up it has two bushings and gently pull it out or you might need to remove the uh, housing for the secondary air pump and it will come that way too so okay let's see let's see which way it's going to go perfect okay it came out now we'll still need to remove that uh, housing for the secondary air pump that's what we'll be doing next uh, without removing it practically it's impossible okay to remove the valve cover and replace the gasket as well so yeah quite a bit of work guys but we need to get it done because you can see it's leaking everywhere and multiple oil leaks even here as well so okay let me let me go ahead and take these ones off or see if i can come on this side because it's hard to reach this thing is uh, it's actually very high uh, 
so. Okay, one is getting loose. Now, if you guys are on the market for a really good uh, car lift, we have it all the way down now, even uh, because we want to uh, make the vehicle not so high so we can reach. But uh, I'll put the link where we got ours from. It uh, goes all the way to 7,000 pounds, guys. So uh, it's very convenient. We just use it to replace the form differential. Makes your wife much easier for home lift system. It's amazing. So one bolt is loose. Now, okay, guys, we here, that's where things will get a little bit more uh complicated we have to remove that holder here for the hoses coolant hoses here check it out now okay let's get this thing out so we can move the hoses a little bit we have one bracket right there that we need to open okay let me see the up oh, this is for the vacuum line so uh I think we'll be able to do it without it. Let me see how we can reach it because there is one bolt over there that we need to remove. So we're going to open that bracket there. I'm trying to show you guys so we can open that bracket. Okay. Okay. I'm going to open it with the finger and one person needs to try. Let me see. Okay. It's opening, now it's holding a little bit more. Let me grab it on this side. Okay, so we can get the hoses out. Okay, let me, we have to be careful. Vacuum line hose for the booster. And coolant hose right there. Two coolant hoses that are going to come out. Okay, like that, and let's see if that's gonna give us a little bit more room now. All right, so we got the ratchet under the hoses. We're just going to get things loose. So let's go ahead, do that all the way. And then uh, we'll see what else now. It has a third bolt, this one. So they have three bolts on each side because we just did the driver side, guys. Okay, we put it together. It was leaking quite a bit too. You can even see where you have to apply a little bit of silicone to the new gasket. So uh, we just finished the video and you'll be able to see it on our channel. Okay, let me see if that one's gonna come loose or not. It's still not going by hand. Usually. They go by hand pretty easily, but not this one. So, next, the third bolt, guys, we got right here with no extension, nothing like that, just the socket itself. We move the hoses, okay, and we got it loose like that. It's gonna take a while, but we're going to remove the third bolt too, and we will explain what else to do after that. So, we got three of them loose, guys. Now, we unhooked all the hoses from the clamp. Okay, trying to get out of here. That last little bitty hose is still. Just one of the hose clamps is still holding, guys. Okay, it came out. The three bolts that you see, one, two, three that we removed we didn't even get them out we just pre-loosened them and we were able to get everything out so now you can see how much room we gain on the back right quite a bit of room because we will actually need all that room and one of the boats to remove here will be <laughs> no fun that's for sure now uh, let's go ahead we need to remove this here okay and this bracket needs to come out with the four bolts next that's what we'll be doing so let's go ahead do that only four bolts holding it in place and we'll need to remove one ground wire with a 
uh, with the Allen wrench. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get the Allen wrench quick so we can remove that out of the way. So on the bottom guys, okay, we're removing the other ones. Uh, it's supposed to be with a smaller socket, the bottom ones there with the E10, I believe, because the tops are with E12. Uh, there are two different sizes of bolts, those are usually bigger, the ones on the bottom are smaller. Uh, however, our socket, we couldn't get it unless we uh, actually grind the side of it because it's too thin or we need to get a thin wall socket. What we used, actually 8mm or 516 regular 6 point socket works, but you can severely damage the bolt, so I will never recommend to do that. But we did it, because it's our own vehicle. If we screw it up, we're gonna be fixing it. So, we just have one more here now. And after that, we need to go ahead and remove with, uh, what is that one, five millimeter? Yep, five millimeter Allen wrench. We need to remove one ground wire here. Let's go ahead, do that. And uh, let's see what else we have that we need to actually get out of the way. Don't, uh, don't forget to install your ground wires and all that stuff later because that can be catastrophic. You may get multiple error codes, engine light, not even a working engine because of a, okay, wa a ground wire like that. We need to disconnect the ignition coil. And those guys are sometimes a fun thing to do. Okay, you press here and you disconnect it. Now, <laughs> that ground wire is stuck here. We can get that bracket out, perfect, just like that. Now, those ignition coils, if they get stuck, let me explain what you need to do. Grab the connector, push it all the way in. Okay, move it a couple times, push it in, then push on the tooth. And while you're pushing on the tooth, start removing, okay, the connector. Don't pull for the wires like I do. I'm doing that because I have only one hand now, the other one holding the camera, so I can show you guys. That gap right here needs to come out as well. And sometimes the metal clip will come off the uh, of the valve cover, so later we need to remove it and install it on the cap here so it can stay, okay, and not come loose. This is uh, actually right here, the solenoid, the variable timing solenoid for bank one. And we're going to go ahead and remove ignition coils now. And uh, we're just going to go ahead, get the bolts loose with that E12 again. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and try to disconnect the wires. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead, do that. To all coils, these coils will be stuck really bad. That will be the time to check your coils. Replace spark plugs. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got our, our spark plugs. We replace them on the other side because they're the four prong spark plugs or also known as multi ground spark plugs. Now, that hose, while we're doing that, not to waste your time, this hose will need to be disconnected. How we do that, we pre loosen it. You squeeze on each side. Okay, I like that. Okay, let me focus quick. And it's going to spread these two teeth out and you pull it out, be gentle, don't move it too much because, okay, you don't want to actually break it. You can actually even remove that cover and disconnect it from there if you want and remove it all the way. Perfect. Now, let's start removing those ignition coils. Grab with one finger inside, one on the back. Okay, one is out. No engine oil in this one. Sometimes when you have a leaking valve cover gasket, you may have engine oil inside the uh, ignition coil spark plugs. Oh, some, some right here. We started dripping some already. Okay, so definitely. On the other side, okay, this one was full of engine oil, guys. Full of engine oil, really bad. And that's the fourth one cylinder number four, no engine oil as well. So uh, let's go ahead and continue with the next step now. So now we need to disconnect all the wiring harness. We're going to go ahead and remove that vacuum line. This is for the, okay, uh, coming, going to intake 
I believe manifold we're going to disconnect the fuel injectors one by one you press that metal piece in let me show you guys press it in pull it out simple as that now we do another one here great then we have one more all right and then we have a number four fuel injector that we need to disconnect as well we need to disconnect the same design for the VVT variable timing solenoid perfect and after that we need to go ahead okay and get the cables out of here out of that bracket it has two clips that are those are broken from the heat guys so we need to use zip ties probably later here one here one over there all these bolts are exposed so we can simply go ahead and remove them now uh, four bolts that hold that bracket that mount in place so uh, let's let's go ahead do that okay this is a torx 40 start looking bit and let's just start removing the ones on the front the ones that we can get to and uh, there is one bolt guys that you will regret that you're doing that job we'll show you what we're talking about and how we approach that bolt because it's practically almost impossible to remove it now let's see what we can do here All right, a few more, and this one, then we need to do a few without the extension. Did we do this one? I don't think we did this one. Oh, we did. I didn't see it. So, okay, this one here now, guys. Now, let's go ahead and remove the one on top here so we can get that bracket out. The bolts do not stay on the valve cover, you know some valve covers, the design is where the bolts stay on the valve cover, this one they don't. So we'll go ahead, remove those. And we're going towards the back after that. Let's go ahead, do that one too. great now this one is out let's go ahead and remove the ones here here all the way that we can and uh, we'll show you where are the ones that are really hard to get to this one here this one without extension probably will work better now we have two in the middle one one left here that we need to remove okay one right here we forgot uh, the other two we remove them because uh, we actually guys uh, remove the bracket remember that bracket there so so this one now okay this one's coming loose uh, we might need to get the tin pliers for this one okay i'll get them in a second so i can show you okay because we'll need to pull it out otherwise we might not be able to remove the gasket great now let's go ahead do that one here Okay, you can see that one that we pre-loosen, lots of oil leaks, lots of dirty stuff here, guys. Kind of like tired of that smelling oil smells and everything like that, so uh, we'll go ahead, get that one out. Oh, my glove fell. And now let me start on the back side. That's where things get interesting, guys. We have one bolt right here. That's actually easy. This one is a piece of cake. Okay, it came loose. 
Once once they can come loose guys those those things practically go by hand without any problems of any kind. That's what I like about the valve cover bolts. Also we have a video about the torque specs later, make sure you check it out. Bolt this out. Now we have one that's right here. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Oh yep, yeah, it will be enough. Okay, removing that one now. And at that point, guys, we'll have only two bolts that we cannot reach. But one of them, you will regret you're doing that job. So, let me go ahead, pull that one out. Okay. One is down. Let me pick it up, quick. Okay. That's it. Now. Let's see about this one here. Can we reach that one? I think so. We just need to come up maybe. And it's full of engine oil. Dirt and anything else you can think of. Okay, he did come loose. That's a good thing. A little bit inconvenient to get to it, so I'll just go ahead. Remove that one. And uh, we have only one. That's really hard guys to get to. So let us let us show you where it's located now. But you can do the thing yourself, you can see, not too complicated, it's doable. Okay, this one is out. Now the other boat, I will not be able to show you, but I will explain what I'm doing here. We're going to get Tox 40 little bit and a quarter inch wrench. If you have a longer wrench, it's better. Ours is even broken, so I'll have to use an extension with a 10 millimeter socket. That will be, okay, that will be my uh, only thing, guys. So what I'll do, I'll get that socket on the last bolt that's down there in the corner, put the wrench, put my finger, okay, put my finger on the back side of this one to hold it so it doesn't come off get the 10 millimeter with the extension and get it loose so i'll go ahead that guys and we'll continue so we'll disconnect the cable here we'll remove it from the metal clips because the last bolt i will need to reach it so <laughs> that's terrible how much of an oil is here that eats all your rubber seals guys, practically it eats everything, check it out. So you want to clean everything later before we put it together and we'll go ahead and remove that bolt and we'll show you what we do next. So we removed the bolt guys, okay it's out. But now that uh, gasket is still stuck, make sure you don't have any more bolts, okay make sure everything's removed, make sure because otherwise that's a plastic cover and you'll break it will come with a screwdriver you can barely pry a little bit don't go too crazy because you can crack things okay i think i can hear it coming loose so yep okay one second now one second i'll come a little bit on this side okay and that gasket that valve cover came loose now, uh, what we're going to do next, guys, okay, we're going to go ahead and try to get it out. Let me see if I need to lift these hoses a little bit up here on this side, maybe, so they're out of the way. We need to come up on the back side. Okay, we're still heating a little bit. Careful not to drop things in your engine guys, you can damage it. From that point on, make sure nothing drops inside. That's what a Cayenne with 187,000 miles looks like. And that had regular oil changes, pretty good. Massive, massive, you can see chain right here, double chain. So, love that thing. They're built to last those engines if you take care of them guys. So let us explain what we're doing next guys. Okay, that gasket is practically shot. Okay, you can see everything's broken. 
everything comes in pieces it will be hard to remove it we guarantee you that why because guys okay it's so burnt that it turned into plastic instead of being rubber so uh, with a small screwdriver careful not to break your valve cover just gently start getting that thing out guys okay and later make sure you don't have any pieces in the valve cover because if you do that will destroy your engine all right working on the spark plug holes right here and the spark plug wells it's so stuck that we'll have a really really hard time getting this thing out but okay let me show you now guys that is plastic practically that's not a gasket anymore okay check it out no flexibility at all and if i go even more it will practically crack and break that's unbelievable you can hear the cracking noise oh, okay check it out now it just cracks so yeah pretty bad guys pretty bad we'll, we'll do that to the rest we'll show you how to remove the uh, ring <laughs> okay you can see how it came in pieces let me pick those up before we okay leave them on the floor and cover everything with engine oil so that's good and little ones are done let's do the big one now somewhere you have to start it somehow maybe if you if you come right here in the middle i think it will be easier because you have more room more flexibility you know okay on the inside where it's away from the exhaust then if you come away no it breaks in pieces guys check this thing out somewhere that's a little bit further away from the exhaust maybe the one that comes out easiest because the exhaust will make it extra hot it will burn more okay and coming out in pieces but it's coming out you have some silicone right here you need to clean that and later we're going to reapply some as well that's where actually let me show you where that is you will need to clean everything here as well we'll show you how and uh, we'll need to apply a little bit of silicone right here gasket maker and a little bit right there that's where the timing cover meets the cylinder head okay we're towards the end just a little bit more and it's going to come out and we have one more gasket that we need to remove never forget to replace it as well let us explain where now guys so uh, we're going up one more for the spark plug we forgot cylinder number one spark plug we should not do that it is so guys okay so short practically that gasket that we'll see how we're gonna get it out of there it comes in pieces okay we were able to lift it up some that's that's a good gain because once you get underneath with the screwdriver okay you can pick it up perfect now one screw uh, one uh, gasket right here guys okay let's remove that one now first this is the uh, mount that clip for the okay for the plastic cap we're going to install it on the plastic cap okay leave it for later perfect because we'll be reaching this one through here now so this gasket now okay uh, that's where you can severely break damage your valve cover you have to be careful don't hammer just hammer in a little bit guys okay that's how we do it i recommend to check with your manual because we tried from underneath and we were not able to get that thing loose so uh, what we are trying to do you have a lip that holds that thing so don't push down just go sideways if you can somehow we need to go sideways you cannot pry too much okay let's see if we turn it around what we have underneath okay and see if we can get it loose because we don't want to break it so what we did on the other one we actually okay broke it with this with the with the thing okay with pliers 
we're trying to hammer it out gently okay let's go on this side can we hammer it out a little bit maybe it's going to come loose maybe it's too stuck so uh, if you hammer towards the inside on each side it's going to make that diameter smaller it will break as well but don't break the valve cover we will explain where the valve cover is no that was on the valve cover you have to be careful okay so let's go ahead and do that This thing is going to come in pieces, guys. That's crazy. So uh, we're going to go ahead, get the pliers. Let me grab the pliers quick. <laughs> Break a few pieces here and there. Okay, perfect. And... Let's see how we're gonna get it out now. Okay, oh, yeah, perfect. You can see how it started here, that's great. If you can do that, that would be awesome. Due to the fact now we can hammer it in a little bit. Don't pry, just get a screwdriver there, it's metal. Okay, and it came loose. Let's hammer a little bit more, okay, perfect. This is it, this one came out. Everything is undamaged here. All we have to do, just clean it really good. Make sure we don't have any debris, guys. Because if you do, you're done. So you can see that's metal right here. That's what was making that thing really, really stuck. We'll get the rubbing alcohol and we're going to put in the canal, okay, of the whole gasket here to eat all the engine oil that's been inside. So we'll let it soak for a little bit. Check it out, it comes towards this side, everything perfect. And I can see the other one racing as well. Now, that one will uh, make the engine oil in that canal dissolve. Also, uh, what I'll do, I'll do the same thing, guys. Okay, and we'll get a screwdriver and a rack, clean the canals, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, here, to everywhere that there is a canal because you don't want to have leaks guys and do that same job again believe me do it right the first time okay so we're going to go ahead clean everything make sure it's absolutely dry no oil residue and we'll continue with the next step so let me show you guys what we'll be doing next we need to get that seal first okay this is it right here we'll get a socket about the same size we're going to lubricate it okay need to lubricate it really good perfect now uh, if you see there is kind of like a little bit of leap it needs to get in quite a bit until it gets even with that so we'll press it in like that it's metal on top so we'll get a socket that size okay and gently don't to break your valve cover very gently okay you need to start getting it in okay on each side and ours is in where the other one was a little bit on this side perfect that's it so this one is practically ready guys now they go in way easier than we got them out that's for sure now we're going to go ahead install the uh, spark plug well gasket here you just start on one side watch how thick the gasket is compared to the other one how much it's sticking out that one will be preventing oil leaks guys the other one was practically flat. Go ahead, install this one, make sure everything is dry, clean, the canals inside, no contamination, because otherwise you will still have leaks. Perfect. Now, this guy, right here. Well, let's see, okay, here on the front you have, okay, a few things that need to get in canals. Okay, those canals. One, two, okay, three, four canals, guys. So. Find out up the other way, the other way, the other way. Okay, flip it this way. Which way it goes now? Okay, perfect. Just like that. Start getting it in and just pull, push the whole gasket in. 
okay do the font uh, we usually do the font first to make sure it goes in these canals and everything is lining up and then just start doing the gasket guys okay a little bit on each side and you will be in in no time check it out all right now once you get it in make sure that it's perfect press it in a little bit okay again check out how much it's sticking out that's great uh, you're going to come right here and you will need to apply a little bit of gray silicone okay let us show you which silicone we're using gray high temp silicone and you will need to apply a small amount a bit right here one right there you're ready to put everything together in reverse order with two kilo part guys if you want to find the torque specs for the valve cover gasket and how to do it we have a special video for that porsche cayenne 4.5 4.8 valve cover torque specs hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time